What's up everyone? We just got to the airport. Today we're gonna go do a little bit of flying. I went ahead and picked up an adapter that allows me to mount my camera to my GoPro mount. So that way I can run another camera instead of a GoPro for like that inside looking out of the helicopter and it'll do a little bit better job of exposing and the footage will look better. So I'm excited to try that out. So let's go get that set up. Definitely gonna need these. Here she is. Get all clean. So instead of instead of having my GoPro here, I'll be able to mount my camera here. So let's go ahead and get that thing rigged up and see how it looks. You know, trying to do things with one hand is not the easiest. Cool. Wow, the battery is on. Not good. Yeah, I think that'll look better. Let's try it out. Definitely a lot bigger than a GoPro. Well, let's check out how it looks. Yeah, she doesn't look bad. Excited to try that out. All right, let's get this thing popped into place. I tell you what, I've never been a fan of flying with gloves, but when it gets really hot out and you get tired of burning yourself when you're doing pre-flight, these gloves work really well. And they've even got the material in here that allows you to use your iPad so you can fly with them and everything. Really nice gloves, really like those a lot. Now because I don't weigh enough to fly solo, I have to fly with weight. And so what I have is I have water jugs that I put in. And I put these on both sides so that it's evenly weighted. If I ever have an issue, at least I've got a lot of water. Now all I gotta do is get fuel, do a pre-flight, get this thing out of the hangar, and we'll be ready to go do some flying. I'm really excited to try out that camera. Hopefully it works well. Um, I'm kind of nervous it might be a little too heavy for the mount, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, let's get this thing out of here. I swear trying to get this thing out of here is harder than flying the helicopter. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing down. That I don't uh, ruin mine or anybody else's helicopter in here. I'm gonna pick this thing up once I get it out. I tell you what I really like and I think is really important to have is I have a spot tracking device that I turn on on every single flight. Um, my dad, you know, people that who I know that if I was in trouble could be there and, and do something about it. Um, I've got preset buttons on there. It's got the option to be able to send your location right to 911 and they'll send out search and rescue. Um, I've got another preset button on there that says, hey, I'm okay, but I'm having mechanical issues. That way they don't need to get a mechanic out there and help me out. And it looks like the field guy's here, so let's go ahead and get some gas. Okay, so I'm back on the ground. That didn't work at all. Um, <laughs> it kind of was a waste. Uh, I ended up just having to put the GoPro back on there. So now we're back to this. Now we're back to that setup, which isn't necessarily a bad setup. It's very clean, still got the audio, still gonna work great but it's not exactly what I was wanting to do. So um, now I'm gonna go refilm everything I just filmed and that way I can actually use the footage because that'll just give you a headache just trying to watch that. So that ain't gonna work. So let's, let's do this round two. Clutch lights out, let's roll on up. Everything's still warm, we're good. Lighting horn. Okay, here we go. We are holding 20 inches of pressure. Everything's in the green, and clear forward. Standard tower formation, Mike, 0047, Zulu 13005, zero, zero, temperature 35, two point minus six, altimeter 29083. Fish approach and use landing and departing on ways 22 left and right. Notice airman, runway 22 right, Pappy out of service. Advise on us, contact you, Mike. Okay, 
Tower helicopter 5, 4 Tango Fox, shot number 1 at the helicopter for south down the park to with Mike. Got 5 4 Tango Fox, shot Tower Tower Traffic, helicopter down 1 in the Charlie pattern at the helipad, clear for takeoff. Clear for that traffic, clear for takeoff from the helipad, 4 Tango Fox. Everything's in the green, we're good to go, and let's roll. Alright, now hopefully that isn't shaking nearly as much as that camera was. I mean, that, that is. I mean, I expect it to shake a little bit, but man, it's just unusable, which kind of sucks because that'd be really good footage, uh, or quality, you know what I mean? But uh, it's all right. GoPro works great, too. So the plan is we're going to go out to uh, the practice area, which is the same area I learned how to fly. I mean, I've got probably 80, 90 hours out there, but uh, we're going to do a little bit of off-field landings and just kind of play around in the desert. A couple weeks ago, me and David flew his Bonanza to Sedona and met up with Matt, JP, and Owen. Um, and their Bonanza, Matt's Bonanza, and we took the doors off of David's, did a little bit of air to air photography, a little bit of formation flying, and man, that was, that was pretty awesome. I sat in the back with my camera and a long lens and got some really cool shots of Matt's plane. Um, I attempted to vlog it, but the, the video, I mean, I was so excited with what we were doing that I forgot to shoot an intro, forgot to shoot an ending. So I'm just going to run some of the clips through at the end of this video, along with some of the photos I got. Uh, it was an awesome time. We got our main pinnacle over here that we're going to come over and do a landing at. And we're just going to go ahead and make this our down one since we know that we've got a uh, about an 8 knot tail one now. So our spot is clear. Nobody there. We don't have any other helicopters around, which is nice. I think they all went in. What time is it? Yep, they've all gone in by now. So we should be good. And we're going to go to all the way to the most forward spot our landing area that way we know we have plenty of tail room. I'm gonna sidestep over here because I know there's a bush in the center that is just a little bit sketchy with that tail rotor deck back there. Clear below. All right we are on the ground here. You know when I fly solo I am so light that I have to have weight in the back which uh, makes me sit like this and so coming in the land I've really got to be careful with that tail rotor when I'm by myself, so let's let's make sure we're clear. Make sure things get back. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of room. We're totally clear. Pick back on up. And clear forward. Turn that air down. Now that is one thing that's nice about these 44s is having the air conditioning. It's so hot flying those 22s. I mean, it's 92 degrees out today, um, and it's actually really smooth. I expected it to be really bumpy today, but it's, it's actually really smooth. Normally, when it starts getting a little warmer, you got a lot more thermals and a lot more bumps and stuff you got to worry about, but it's pretty nice out. In fact, this spot right here is right where Cameron took that picture of Zoe, which I'll, I'll throw it up real quick. Look like a pretty cool cave here. I want to check out, see if there's anything in. Yeah, there it is. Stop descending here, go into a hover, make sure we can. Yeah, we got, we're plenty good. Yeah, it's not nearly as deep as I thought it was. I thought it was a lot deeper, but it's, uh, it's actually not. All right, we'll keep rolling. Check things out. And a good spot to land at, right below us. That one's fun. We won't land today. We'll keep. We'll save that for another day. I know there's a there's another spot out here that's pretty common uh, to land at. I just gotta find it. Can't remember. I think it's right here. Yeah, there it is. We'll do an orbit around it. Might as well. Haven't been here in a long time. Do a 90 knots, 89, 90. So it doesn't look like I have nearly as much wind. That actually looks pretty pretty grown up. Vegetation wise, I don't remember those bushes being that tall. Yeah, we'll try it anyways. Okay, we're gonna have a cactus, we're gonna have to sidestep around. You probably can't see this because of because the angle of the sun. And yeah, we should be alright. Clear below. What's that main rotor on that tree? Not a very smooth landing. Let's pick back up. 
That's enough terrorizing in the desert for one day. Switch over and get the uh, ATIS information. Line of six, altimeter two nine or eight three. Fish approaching you, sliding and departing on ways two two left and right. Notice airman runway two two right, Pappy out of service. Advise on this contact, you Mike. Okay, we're about six to the south, uh, southeast. Yeah, we're coming. Charlie Tower, helicopter five four Tango Fox, right at six and a half southeast, inbound to the helipad. With Mike. Helicopter five four Tango Fox, right at Charlie Tower, Port South Point. And traffic 12 o'clock, a mile and a half, hour 22 inbound, report traffic in sight. Traffic in sight, uh, report south point, four tickle box. Clear to land at the helipad, number two, helicopter A2 Charlie. Okay, four Tango Fox, show number three, follow the helicopter at south point, make left traffic at the helipad, clear to land. Left traffic, your helipad, clear to land, number three, four Tango Fox. Give them a little bit of spacing. Does clear. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get shut down here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. This is what I hope to do with my channel. I hope to get a little bit more flying videos in here. Um, a little bit more flight vlogs and obviously probably get a lot more interesting just today but today's just kind of a trial run I just wanted to see how it worked wanted to try that camera mount out and it did obviously didn't work at all um, I ended up having to do everything twice today I came back grabbed the GoPro so um, yeah please give the video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe check those guys out and I'm gonna go ahead and run that footage now uh, thanks for watching